Hi, welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Abundance, and today I'm going to talk about self-care. So self-care might mean something different to me than it means to you. So what I'm going to talk about today is a little bit about what self-care means to me, but what I would love to do is challenge you to consider what self-care truly means to you. And so after listening to this video, maybe you'll have a better sense or a better idea of how you look at self-care and how you choose to give it to yourself on a regular basis. Okay, so some people may look at self-care from a place of how they look. And some people may use uh, self-care to work on their self-esteem. Uh, some people may use self-care as emotional support. So, and, and then some people may do a combination of any of those or, or many multiple other things. So for me, self-care means how I feel about myself in any given moment. So today I might have a little bit of a low self-esteem. And if I have low self-esteem, low self-confidence, low, low self-comfort, then I may need to do a little extra self-care. And then there's other days when I feel really good about myself. I feel really comfortable, really confident, really comfortable, have lots of self-esteem, and I don't need as much self-care that day, maybe. Or self-care may look very different that day than it looks on a day when I don't feel very good about myself. So first and foremost, self-care is essential, self-care is important, and self-care is necessary. And when we think about self-care, we think about things like, do I feel good when I'm going into, say, a business meeting? Or do I feel confident and comfortable and at peace with myself when I'm talking to my friends? And if I don't, then what can I do to get myself there? That's self-care. Okay, so self-care may look like uh, meditation. It may look like a bath. It may look like getting lots of makeup uh, and hair done. It may look like getting nails done. It may look like special jewelry or a special outfit. So self-care is multi-layered. So today I'm just going to talk a little bit about ways that I take care of myself. Every day I look into a mirror and I think, good thoughts or I think not so good thoughts. I may look at myself and go, Ugh, I feel so tired or I look so tired or Ugh, I hate my hair or I'm feeling bloated today or oh, what are those like bags under my eyes? And then there's other days when I look in the mirror and I go, oh, I really like what I see. I, I seem up. I seem energized. I, I, I feel like I look really good or I just really love the way I look could be as simple as that. On the days when I feel good about how I look, I check in with myself about what kind of self-care I might need that day. So it could be something emotional. I could be thinking, wow, I look and feel really good on the surface, but inside I'm feeling really sad or inside I'm feeling like I just really need some support around parenting or I need some support around uh, adulting, <laughs> right? Um, and so that's the direction that I would take my self-care on the days when I look in the mirror and I don't like what I physically see. Those are the days when I'm going to give myself a little refresher. I'm not one that wears makeup, so I don't necessarily need to wear makeup, but I might want to wash my face and put my favorite CBD facial serum on, or I may... Uh, want to do something different with my hair. I might want to wear a little clip in my hair that day. It just gives me a little jolt. And so then there's other times when I think um, I feel like whatever I'm wearing just looks dumb or uncomfortable or feels uncomfortable or um, I just don't like what I'm wearing. So of course I change my clothes. So that's taking care of myself. On the days when I'm feeling low energy, low emotional state, feeling sad about something, feeling a little low about maybe my parenting again, or, or maybe the, the adulting piece. And so on that day, I may go do a meditation. I may do some tapping, you know, I may 
talk to a friend. Uh, I may take a bath just to relax my body, relax my mind, calm things down a little bit and get myself motivated to get to the next place. And then there's other days where if I just feel sad or if I just don't feel like I look very good, I may just cry. I may just go jump on the trampoline. I may just be outside for a little while in the sunshine, or I may just take a little rest. So all of those things are ways to take care of myself. In those times when I choose to take care of myself, I can always find myself lifted up, elevated to a new place. And when that happens, I feel like I work through my day much, much better from that place. So self-care leads to better days, leads to better moments, leads to stronger, more confident, more comfortable energy around how I feel in any given moment. So self-care is important for multiple reasons. The main reason is that I feel good. In a moment, I feel good about myself. I feel good about my energy. I feel good about my emotions. I feel good about my body. I feel good about my energy. And when I can feel good about most of those things, then of course the rest of my day seems to fall into place better. Uh, when I don't feel so good and I can't find something to do for myself, I reach out to friends or I might go to a CODA meeting or I might go to listen to a book on tape or a podcast that helps me move through whatever I might be feeling in the moment. The main thing is that I do my best not to beat myself up for how I feel. In other words, if I'm looking in the mirror and I don't like what I see, I don't say, oh, you're such a horrible, like, bleh. I don't talk down to myself in those moments. I may hear little voices in my head kind of trying to take me there. But what I do is I, I catch them and I say, that isn't true at all. And because I know it's not true, I can get to a better place for myself if I choose to. And if I do believe that it's true, what kind of self-care can I give myself to get to the other side of that thought? Or can I check in with myself, go to therapy, you know, get a, get a, get a better sense of where the thought or the belief is coming from. So what do you do for self-care? What are the many different ways or just one thing that you do? Just try to think of something today that you can do to take care of yourself. My good friend, Ashley Cantley is a feng shui specialist and you can find her at ashleycantley.com. I'll post her link down below. So if you want to know uh, anything about feng shui, she is amazing and she's my go-to person. So I'm involved in a mama's community that she's created through her website. And on that, she tells us each month in what the feng shui or the Chinese medicine might say for that particular month. It just so happens that August is self-care month. And so we've been focusing every day on different things we can do for self-care. And I've just been really loving her suggestions and her guidance and her meditations. And so I'm kind of tossing you over her way to learn a little more about self-care for August specifically. And of, the, of course, there's many different ways that you can find things online. Uh, just look some things up to find ways to support yourself in better self-care. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a blessed and beautiful afternoon and week, and I'll see you next week on Tuesdays with Tara.